Welcome, everyone. We all know we need to save our next generation or our friends or our, our, a sister or a cousin. The drug epidemic is just so terrible right now, um, especially with the fentanyl. And I thank um, Elaine Marmel uh, for embracing our Victoria's Voice Foundation. So I'm going to introduce you to our speaker of the evening, Michael DeLeon. So my name is Michael DeLeon. I am absolutely honored every single day to get out there and talk to students all across this country and share Victoria's story because of the selfless commitment of David and Jackie Siegel after losing that girl. Um, they don't want it to happen to anybody else. They don't want any family to go through what they're going through. And we are in a crisis. So Beauty for Good is uh, an incredible, incredible opportunity that I wanted to share with you. And I'm asking every single person here tonight to get it involved. It doesn't matter what your platform is. We will weave this platform into your platform. It is a crisis of epic proportions. We are losing a generation of our loved ones to drugs and drug poisoning. So Victoria's Voice Foundation and the nonprofit organization that I've been running for 17 years, Steered Straight, we're providing in-depth and comprehensive engaging and continuing education to youth, to staff, to parents and communities all over this country. We call it Straight Talk because we don't want to sugarcoat it. I'm not Willy Wonka. Uh, I want to get to the kids and let them know what's happening so they can make better, more positive, informed choices. Naloxone is a life-saving drug, and to this day, I cannot understand why not every law enforcement in this country is carrying this life-saving drug, but thanks to David Siegel, he is making that happen. This is a vital, vital, vital tool in this fight, especially with fentanyl. So there's a lot of things that this that found that, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. There are a lot of things that this foundation is doing, but I just want to focus on those two things tonight. Educational programs for kids in schools and the distribution of naloxone across our country. And those are two things that you can jump on, get involved with right now, tonight. I want you to understand everyone in this room has a story. You don't have to have a personal story of drug addiction, whether it's in your family or not, right? Story to tell schools, a story to tell the press, a story to tell business owners all across your states, tell communities all across your states, and weaving this into your platform no matter what your platform is, okay? We have to stop losing our children. And this was not her destiny. And we have to save our kids. The only way to end addiction, the only way to end this crisis is to prevent it from starting in the first place. That's why we have to get to these children. It's the only way, and I want you, we want you to be a part of it. Why am I involved? How did I get involved? Well, I ended up in prison. I ended up in prison for 12 years of my life. My addiction began at age 11, 11 years of age. Nicotine, alcohol, marijuana, and then every drug you can imagine. And I ended up in prison. When I ended up in prison, I was asked to get involved in a program called Scared Straight. You might have heard of it, Scared Straight, where the kids are coming into the prison and you're screaming at them, I'm gonna kill you, Johnny, if you end up in here. And then little Johnny, at the end of the program, he's doing his homework and listening to his mommy. It doesn't quite work that way. We have to get to the kids before they get involved. But when I got out of prison, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I wanted to go reach the kids. I want them to grow up to be beauty queens, you know what I'm saying? I don't want them to grow up to be convicts. I want them to grow up to who their parents are raising them to become, who God has destined them to become. So I said, I'm gonna go talk to kids at schools all across the country. I've been to 278 funerals since 2007 walking out of prison, 278, and I'm tired of it. 
The number one crisis in America right now is drug addiction. Last year we lost over 107,000 Americans to an overdose of drugs. This year will be worse. In fact, this year will be the largest increase we ever saw in American history because they will not have another cause of death to hide behind next year. We will count every overdose death as an overdose death this year and that is a tragedy. Along the way, We've been legalizing marijuana, and I want to just quickly tell you what's taking place. This little vials you see on the left-hand side there, that's liquid marijuana that tested positive at 86% THC. They fit in a little vape canister. In 1960, marijuana was 1%. In 2011, marijuana was 11.4. Now it's 100. A hundred, and we're putting these cartridges in vapes all over this country. This is pure THC crystal, and they're selling it to kids in flavors all across this country. In 2018, the Republicans and the Democrats unanimously passed a bill called the Farm Bill, and President Trump signed it. In that bill, they legalized hemp, H-E-M-P. Now we're extracting Delta 8 and Delta 10 from hemp, and we're selling it in all 50 states all across this country. In souvenir shops in Orlando, in souvenir shops in Branson, Missouri, and Myrtle Beach, in vape shops in 7-Elevens in Iowa, Wyoming, all across this country. And kids have absolutely no idea what they're getting. This is legal in all 50 states, and many of these people are selling it to children. And now, we're putting it in candies. That was a kid in Rockdale County, Georgia, seventh grader who brought Skittles to school and shared it with six of his friends. Seven, six and seventh graders were rushed to the hospital from an overdose. The top five causes of death in America for kids 27 years of age and below are right there. Accidents, suicide, homicide, and drugs and alcohol. Those four are all alcohol and drug related. And now, the fastest growing cause of death, 27 years of age and below in this country, is fentanyl poisoning. That's why naloxone is so important. That's why you need to be involved in the distribution and the encouraging of law enforcement and EMTs and schools, school nurses, to, to carry Narcan at all times. And this program that's getting ready to launch, that the Seagulls are putting together, is going to put Narcan in every single state in this country, and we need your involvement in that. <laughs> Ladies, this is the worst crisis America's ever seen, and education of kids is the foundation of reducing the addiction crisis. We need you to get involved in Beauty for Good. I want to get this book into the hands of every children. I made David Siegel a promise years ago. I said, I'm not going to stop until I get that diary into every kid's hands in America. And that book is driving kids to counselors, and we are changing lives. We are changing lives. Straight talk.